I'm originally from Essex, right on the Essex-Suffolk border. From a young age, I enjoyed making stuff, painting stuff, wanted to do something along that line. So I wasn't particularly academic. When I was at school, I had a, a quite a passion for art and also for history. And when I was about to leave school, I was deciding what I wanted to do. I went to have a meeting with my local careers officer and I got chatting to her about what I enjoyed. And she actually originated from Stoke-on-Trent, which at that age, where I was from, had no idea where it was. And I wrote off to Wedgwood. I had a reply that I came up and had a trade test and an interview and they offered me an apprenticeship and that was 30 odd years ago. So I moved up to Stoke-on-Trent. I lived in a hostel for several years while I was training and when I moved to Stoke-on-Trent, I was just so amazed at it. The company that I worked for had about 4,000 employees producing fabulous stuff. I think a lot of local people take it very blasé, but whereas I was shocked how you walk around the museums and stuff and there's some fabulous pieces and it was all made in Stoke, so I sort of got wrapped up in it really, really easily. Ended up doing 30 years with Wedgwood, worked on all sorts of projects, special ordered pieces, did lots of quite famous pieces and produced pieces for famous people worked on a piece for the Queen's 80th birthday. I used to be their craft ambassador, so I used to travel around the world, go into exhibitions and stuff like that, which was really great. I mean, I did about 20 trips to Japan over the years. Then about three years ago, I took my redundancy. The place was becoming a lot smaller. The job was becoming less skillful, was less high class work. Do I try something totally different? Or do I carry on? And I thought, well, I've got some skill. I can do it. I'm going to give it a go. The first few months were a bit scary, a bit difficult. But to be honest, it's been fine. It's been good. But that was the main reason I needed to do something. Rather than me just deciding to give up, I wanted to try and carry on using the skills that I've got. Yeah, now I run my own business out of Middleport Pottery. I make and decorate my own pieces and work on commission pieces. But a big part of it is teaching. I teach here and I teach off site at various places. You don't go in it to be particularly rich. You have to do stuff because you love it and you have to be passionate about it. And I think if you're that type of person that enjoys what they do, that's the main thing. I can make a living out of it. Lots of people can't make a living out of what they enjoy doing and have to do something totally different. You've got to put the hours in. I think that's the hard bit. You're always working. I do six, seven days a week, every week. Very rarely have any time off. Even when I'm at home, I work from home as well. Patience is definitely I think the most important and I think you've got to try and push yourself a little bit as well. I think for some people that is difficult but if you're passionate about what you do it's not so difficult work, it's not so hard work. I think this year is a big year for me because I've been invited back over to Japan to work at a British fair in autumn. I'm always trying to push myself a little bit so I still want to make that ultimate piece really.